Hello, I'm Francis Fluharty, the department head for animal and dairy science. I'm sorry that we can't have an in-person awards and scholarship banquet this year, but I still want to congratulate everyone who is an award winner and a scholarship winner today for the outstanding job that you've done, especially under the difficult circumstances of the last 14 months. So I'll let everyone get on with the awards banquet, but congratulations on your achievements and I wish you the best. Thank you, bye-bye. Hi everyone, my name is Kylie Dieberstein and I'm a faculty member in the Animal and Dairy Science Department. In my role here for the past decade or so, I have served as our scholarship chair, which means that I help to award scholarships to students in our department but I also coordinate a banquet that we usually do at the end of each school year, where we recognize many of our outstanding students and say thank you to our donors who've made so much possible. Unfortunately, this year with COVID, we didn't feel like the time was right to get together in person again. I really, really hope by next year that we can get together and see each other again. Uh, but we didn't want to let the year end without recognizing um, many of our students who've accomplished so much throughout the year in spite of the difficult times. So we've put together a virtual recognition ceremony that we hope you enjoy. Um, we've had some students who've been wonderful at sending videos to introduce themselves so that if you didn't know them already, maybe you'll get to know them a little better by the end of this. And we invite you to just sit back and relax and look at the accomplishments from the Animal and Dairy Science Department for this past year. We wanted to give you just a little of an outline of what we are going to present today. So our program for our awards ceremony will be, we will start with the Dairy Science Club Awards. Then we will recognize our Dairy Science Scholarship Award recipients. We'll move on to our Block and Bridle Club Awards. And we'll finish with some of our Animal Science Scholarships. Our Dairy Science Club was very active this year. They have four awards that they would like to present. Our first Dairy Science Club Award recipient is for the Moo Kid Award, which recognizes an outstanding new member of the Dairy Science Club. This year's recipient is Tate Hunda. Our next award would be the outstanding senior in our Dairy Science Club. And this year's recipient is Alyssa Rotten. Our next Dairy Science Club Award is for the Halter Breaker, a person in the club who shows outstanding leadership skills. And this year's recipient is Audrey Cruz. Our final Dairy Science Club Award is the Pooper Scooper Award. And like the name sounds, this award is given to a person who demonstrates that ability to get down and dirty and get the work done. And for this year, the Pooper Scooper Award goes to Audrey Cruz. So in spite of having a little bit of a different year, the Dairy Science Club has done a lot. Um, we'd like to thank these students who received the club awards and congratulate them on their accomplishments. All right, so carrying on our theme of dairy cows, we are going to shift gears just a little bit and we're going to recognize many of our outstanding students who have received scholarships. The first set of scholarships that we would like to award will be the Georgia Dairy Memorial Scholarships. And these scholarships are awarded to students who are very active in Dairy Science Club or in our Dairy Science Program. The recipients this year are Georgia Cooper, Sabrina Den, Edward Tate Hunda, and Courtney Alex Schlotman. Hi, my name is Georgia Cooper and I am the 2021 recipient of the Georgia Dairy Memorial Scholarship. I am currently a junior animal science major, agribusiness minor at the University of Georgia. I am the current Commercial Dairy Heifer Show Chair and past secretary for the UGA Dairy Science Club. I am also a member of the Sigma Alpha Chapter here at UGA. I served as Vice President and Event Chairperson for the Georgia Dairy Youth Foundation. 
I also served as FFA president and attended the Georgia Governor's Honors Program in the area of agriculture. I want to thank the founders of the Georgia Dairy Memorial Scholarship, including Dr. Boyd and Mr. Rizzo for helping to establish it, as well as for their contribution to continuing my education at the University of Georgia. Hello, my name is Tate Hunda and I'm a third year animal science and biological science double major here at the University of Georgia. And I have some minors focusing on dairy science, first of all and political science and biology. And so I am looking at applying to vet school this upcoming cycle. Um, and a little bit more about me though, I really didn't know a lot about dairy cattle or anything like that until I came to UGA and started taking courses and found out that I really, really love working with dairy cattle and learning a lot about the industry. And so I've really gotten to pursue this passion here at the University of Georgia. And so, you know, along with that, I've gotten involved in things like the Dairy Science Club, and competed at uh, the regional and national dairy challenges and had a really great time learning more. Uh, and so with that being said, I really just wanna say thank you to the people who are donating to the Georgia Memorial Dairy Fund and the scholarship that I most recently won. So thank you again. Hi, my name is Alex Shaman. I'll be a rising junior this fall and I've been studying animal science. I hope to one day become a veterinarian within the beef and dairy industry. I fell in love with the dairy industry last fall when I started working at the UGA's Teaching Dairy. From then, I've been an active leader and member of the Dairy Science Club and the Pre-Veterinarian Club. I would like to thank the UGA's Animal and Dairy Science Department for awarding me with the Georgia Dairy Memorial Scholarship. With this scholarship, I'll be able to continue my education to one day achieve my goals of becoming a veterinarian and making a difference within these industries. Thank you. The next scholarship that we'd like to present is the Rebecca and Louis Boyd Scholarship. This scholarship was graciously donated by Dr. Louis Boyd, a former professor of dairy science, and his wife Rebecca. And it goes to honor a student who's very active in our dairy science program. This year's recipient is Mary Kinnemer Hillis, or Kenna Hillis. Hello, my name is Kenna Hillis and I'm a fourth year animal and dairy science major here at the University of Georgia. I'll be graduating uh, in just a couple days and then attending vet school um, here as well in the fall. Um, I was a recipient of the Rebecca and Louis Boyd scholarship and I just wanted to say thank you to Dr. Boyd um, for supporting the scholarship and helping to support my education. Thank you. The next scholarship is our Southeast Milk Scholarship. And the recipient this year is Dawson Fields. Hey y'all, my name is Dawson Fields and I'm going into my senior year as an animal science major on a pre-veterinary track as a participant of the Food Animal Veterinary Incentive Program Class of 2022. Over the past few years, I've had the privilege to serve Dairy Science Club in numerous positions from show team chair all the way to president. And I'm also a member of the UGA Dairy Judging Team. Following college, I plan to attend vet school and return to rural Georgia to help fill the void of large animal vets needed by our great producers. I would like to take this time to thank Southeast Milk and their representative Williams Dairy for selecting me for this scholarship. Without scholarships such as this one from our great industry, I would not be able to pursue my career of one day um, being able to help those same producers maintain healthy herds. Thank you to the department. Thank you Southeast Milk and Williams Dairy again for selecting me for this scholarship. The next Dairy Science Scholarship is the Herbert Henderson Scholarship. This scholarship was set up in honor of the late Dr. Henderson, who was a professor in the Animal and Dairy Science Department. And this scholarship is awarded to Alanis Reyes. Hi, my name is Alanis Reyes and I'm from Puerto Rico. I am now going to be going into my second year majoring in animal science it is an honor to receive the Herbert Henderson Memorial Scholarship. Thank you so much to Lou Henderson for supporting the future animal and dairy scientists of America. The next scholarship that we would like to present is the H.D. Thames Scholarship, set up in honor of Mr. Thames, who was active in the dairy industry. And this scholarship is presented to Mary Lee Schaefer. 
Hello, my name is Mira Schaefer and I'm an upcoming junior majoring in animal and dairy science. I plan on attending vet school with a focus in large production animals. In particular, I love working with dairy cattle. I am the secretary of the Dairy Science Club, as well as the co-chair for the dairy show team. I also currently work at the University of Georgia teaching dairy. I hope to be a veterinary pathologist with a focus in production animals in the future. I have been selected to receive the H.D. Thames Academic Support Fund Scholarship, which is awarded to an outstanding student who is active in dairy science. I would like to take this moment to express to the scholarship committee, as well as to Mr. Andy and Mrs. Vivian Carden, how grateful I am to have been selected for this award. Finally, we'd like to conclude with our Benjamin Forbes Outstanding Dairy Science Senior for the Year. And this award goes to Mary Kinnemer or Kenna Hillis. So congratulations, Kenna. Hello, my name is Kenna Hillis and I am a fourth year animal and dairy science major here at the University of Georgia. Um, I'll be graduating in just a couple days and then going to vet school in the fall um, here at Georgia as well. I was a recipient of the Benjamin P. Forbes Leadership Award. I just wanted to thank the Benjamin Forbes Company um, for supporting this scholarship and for supporting my education in the future. Thank you. All right, we will shift gears now and feature another of our clubs in the Animal and Dairy Science Department. This is our Block and Bridal Club, and they have several club awards for this year. The first award that we'd like to present is the Outstanding Block and Bridal Junior Award, and that goes to Clint Lee. Our Outstanding Block and Bridal Senior Award goes to Abigail Sarton. The Calvin Alford True Grit Award goes to our club president, Jenna Farmer. We have a series of workhorse awards that we'd like to present. Our freshman workhorse award goes to Maddie Gunter. Our sophomore workhorse award goes to Adam Grubb. Our junior workhorse award goes to Andy Pearson. And our Senior Workhorse Award goes to Audrey Cruz. Congratulations to all of our Block and Bridal Club Award winners, and thank you for all that you've done to make this year so successful. We'll now finish up our program by honoring several more of our Animal Science Scholarship recipients. We'll begin with a series of scholarships that go to students interested in the beef industry. Our first of those will be our Georgia Beef Commission Scholarships. These two scholarships, generously donated by the Georgia Beef Commission, are awarded this year to Brandon Hudson and Austin Wiggins. My name is Brandon Hudson, and I'm a third year animal science and biological science double major from Auburn, Georgia. Since starting my undergraduate program, I've been fascinated by beef cattle um, the way they digest food has just amazed me, and that's really directed my studies throughout my program. And as I now enter my fourth year of my undergraduate, I'm looking to continue my education in graduate school. I'd really like to take this time to thank the Georgia Beef Commission and everybody else involved in this award for just giving me this opportunity. It really does mean a lot knowing that y'all believe in me and what I can accomplish. So. Thank y'all so much, it's greatly appreciated. Our next scholarship is the Cynthia Curtis Scholarship, set up in honor of the late Mrs. Cynthia Curtis, who was an avid beef farmer. And this scholarship is awarded to a female student in our department who maintains excellent scholarship and shows a demonstrated interest in the beef industry. And this year that person is Ellie Clark. Hi, my name is Ellie Clark and I'm from Gainesville, Georgia. I'm a first year student at the University of Georgia, double majoring in animal science and agriculture education. I've grown up on a beef cattle farm and I'm a third generation beef cattle farmer. I've also been showing cattle for 10 years and currently work helping other students with their livestock projects. I'm so thankful to be named the Cynthia Curtis Memorial Scholarship recipient for this year. And I'm very excited to continue my education at the University of Georgia. Go dogs. 
Our next scholarship is the Drury Reed Wilcox Scholarship, named in honor of the late Mr. Wilcox. This scholarship is set up to recognize a student who shows good leadership potential in the livestock industry. And that recipient this year is Mr. John Levi Martin. Levi is not yet a student at UGA. He's gonna be joining us in the fall. He is an FFA member and president. He's also a junior livestock ambassador and a member of his school's livestock judging team and young farmers association. We weren't able to get a video from Mr. Martin because he's not here yet, but we are very excited to have him join us in the fall. Our next scholarship is the Emory Len Scholarship. This scholarship is set up to recognize a student with an interest in the swine industry. This year's recipient is Miss Annalise Carnes. Annalise is a member of both Block and Bridal and the Young Farmers and Ranchers Club at UGA. She's also a Dean's List honoree and she has quite an extensive background showing swine. Our next scholarship is the Dan and Nima Daniel Scholarship, set up in honor of the late Dr. Dan Daniel and his wife Nima to recognize a student with outstanding potential in the livestock industry. And this year's recipient is Mr. Clint Lee. Hey all, my name is Clint Lee, and I was fortunate enough to receive a Dan and Nima Daniel Scholarship this year. I'm a rising senior here in the Animal Science Department with an emphasis in production and management. I'm from Eastman, Georgia. Right now, I'd just like to send a thank you out to Mr. Randy and Ms. Beth Daniel for their continued support of the UGA Animal and Dairy Science Department. Thank you for continuing to support students like me and everyone within the department. Our Mark Lay Memorial Scholarship has three award recipients this year. This scholarship was set up in honor of Mark, a student in our program who was awarded his degree posthumously following a tragic car accident. The scholarship recipients for this year are William Trey Garbett, Mallory Sterling, and Mallory Lee. Hello, my name is Trey Garvin, and I just finished up livestock judging and receiving my Associates of Science from Fort Scott Community College in Fort Scott, Kansas. And I'll begin studying at the University of Georgia this fall and majoring in animal science and agribusiness. I'm originally from Perry, Georgia, where I grew up showing cattle and pigs at county, state, and national levels. And I can't begin to show how appreciative I am of receiving this scholarship in honor of your brother. Thank you, and go dogs. Our Robert Lowry Scholarship was donated by Dr. Robert Lowry, a professor in animal and dairy science. And it also has three recipients this year. Those are Dorothy Page Pascal, Chelsea Pushbach, and Katie Feldman. Hello, my name is Paige Pascal, and I'm from Hawkinsville, Georgia. I'm currently a sophomore at the University of Georgia studying animal science with a minor in ag business. I'm very interested in the field of animal health and hope to eventually pursue a career researching animal pharmaceuticals. I am so thankful and honored to have received the Robert S. Lowry Scholarship this year. Dr. Lowry, thank you so much for your support of me and my future endeavors this upcoming school year. My name is Katie Feldman and my hometown is Oregonia, Ohio. I just finished up my junior year and I am majoring in animal science. I plan to attend graduate school and study ruminant nutrition. I would like to thank Dr. Robert Lowry for my 2021 Robert S. Lowry Scholarship. I am appreciative of the support that this scholarship provides for students like me who are interested in careers within the livestock industry. Go dog. The Daisy Campbell Rhodes Scholarship set up by the Rhodes family recognizes a student with strong involvement in the animal science and livestock industry. And this year that recipient is Ms. Jenna Farmer. Hey, I'm Jenna Farmer and I'm the recipient of the Daisy Campbell Rhodes Scholarship this year. I just wanna say thank you so much to the donors. The money from this scholarship will my education. Thank you so much again and go dogs. The Nesbitt Flat Scholarship donated by Dr. Bill Flat a former professor and dean in the College of Ag and Environmental Sciences, recognizes a student with strong academic performance, as well as a potential interest in the nutrition industry. And this year, that scholarship recipient is Ms. Emily Brock. 
Emily was a high school valedictorian, is currently a member of the Georgia Beef Team. She's also a UGA Meat Lab student worker, as well as working as a farmhand on her family's farm. She's been active in many community outreach projects, and she's interested in a career in the animal nutrition field. So congratulations, Emily. Our final scholarship recipient that we want to recognize today is the Walter Forbes Outstanding Animal Science Senior. And this award is going to Abigail Sarton. Hey there, my name is Abigail Sarton and I'm a graduating senior this year studying animal science and agricultural communication. During my time here at UGA and specifically within the College of Ag, I've gotten to be a part of some really incredible clubs and groups of people who have made all the difference in my time here. Some of those were UGA Cattlemen's, Block and Bridle, the Great Southland Stampede Radio, and I got to travel and be a part of UGA's collegiate livestock judging team. All of these have helped shape me into the person that I am today. And at the end of the day, it wouldn't have been possible without donors like you. And I'm extremely grateful to have been named the Outstanding Senior in Animal Science this year. And it's my personal goal to invest in people's education just as, you, just as you've invested in mine. So for that, I thank you and go dogs. This concludes our award ceremony for this year. Thank you all so much for taking the time to be with us today to recognize our students' accomplishments. Um, I know the virtual format is a little bit difficult. It is for me too. So I appreciate you bearing with us and, and, and being present for this uh, important time, even though it's not in person this year. Honestly, if we do an in-person awards banquet next year, I might release uh, some type of bloopers reel from from my attempts to make this video this year. Uh, it's a lot harder than I expected to stare at yourself in a computer and make, make a good video. So again, I really appreciate all the students sending in videos and I appreciate all of you taking the time to watch them. Um, I'd like to just conclude by congratulating our students on your accomplishments. Um, it's been a hard year and obviously you guys have persevered and done a lot. So we appreciate that so much. Uh, I would again like to thank our donors and your continued support has really made a lot of opportunities possible for our students and we appreciate you so much. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful summer and we hope to see many of you back here in the fall semester. Please stay with us and keep watching to see some highlights from the Dairy Science Club activities throughout the year, as well as some great pictures of our students in action. Hi, I'm Jillian Bolin, and I'm an associate professor here in the Animal and Dairy Science Department, as well as a State Dairy Extension Specialist. When it comes to some of our student activities, I serve as co-advisor to the UGA Dairy Science Club, mentor to the American Dairy Science Association Student Division from here at UGA, as well as coach um, to our Dairy Challenge team. So I just want to update you on a few things that we've been involved with this past year. Even though we've been in this virtual set setting, you'll find that the students involved in dairy programming have remained highly active and engaged in their activities. So at this point, I just want to share a very quick um, PowerPoint that I have created um, to walk you through some of our activities that we've done. I'm going to go through some of the club events, um, what we've done as a part of Dairy Challenge, as well as those ADSA SAD events. So if we look at club events, um, our students have been highly engaged in service activities. Um, so they have helped uh, with the Commercial Dairy Heifer Project uh, by serving as ringsmen, uh, announcers, um, check-in, whatever we needed as part of the Georgia National Fair um, this past fall. They also um, came down to help out with, as well as sell t-shirts with the State Livestock Show in February. Um, I couldn't have done the, nat, uh, the state 4-H dairy judging contest without them. Um, they've spent um, many weeks halter breaking animals um, so that youth participating in that contest um, in, uh, at the UGA Dairy Farm actually had haltered classes in which to view. Um, so Dairy Science Club members not only halter broke um, cow classes for those youth um, members, but they also then led those animals. Um, some of them then uh, helped with officiating the contest and listening to reasons. Um, so uh, again, a lot of activities that were garnered to supporting youth programming within the state. So um, showing that mentorship capability within the student group. They also did a lot of activities that were more geared towards public education. Um, so they did a milking on millage with Nicole Duval, 
um, from the Georgia Mobile Dairy Classroom. They also just recently completed what they called a Dairy Fun Week. So typically in the fall, they have a Dairy Fun Night, um, which is an in-person event um, where teams from all over um, the collegiate campus get to come and participate in a variety of fun activities. Given this unusual, um, the unusual circumstances, this year, they weren't able to do that, so instead they hosted a virtual contest where um, both youth, so we had a lot of teams um, that were in middle schools, elementary schools, high schools that participated, as well as a collegiate competition. Um, they did anything from educational activities um, to um, even building uh, their own cow models with creative um, resources, so a lot of different fun parts that went into that Dairy Fun Week. Uh, and we had over 20 teams competing and you can see the winter, winners listed up top there. Um, and then we even played some of the parts of that Dairy Fun Week on our social media page. So one of the fun parts were for the youth uh, to learn more about dairy farms in the state. So um, our favorite cow by far out of the dairy farm, most students would agree is Kelly. Um, so they had Kelly visit multiple farms across the state and give clues. Um, and then you had to guess where Kelly was actually at. So it was a great opportunity um, for young people to learn more about the dairy industry across the state. They also did just some fun activities outside of their regular club meetings. They had some Halloween fun. Um, they also worked very hard to create a departmental shirt. So a shirt that we, they thought really represented um, the UGA Animal and Dairy Science Department, which you can see there at the bottom. Um, and they did use it as a fundraising uh, opportunity this past year. And I say that in case you are interested in the t-shirts, please reach out to the UGA Dairy Science Club. Some other activities we've involved in are the American Dairy Science Association Student Affiliate Division. Um, we participated in the national meetings in 2020 and the regional meetings in 2021. Both of those were held in a virtual for format. We'll also be competing in the national meetings um, this summer in a virtual format as well. I'm just gonna give you some of the top accolades from that national contest um, in lieu of time. So um, Alyssa Routon presented on manipulating the circadian rhythms through controlled light dark phases in the prepartum period in dairy cattle at the national level. And she did receive third place in the dairy production competition. Audrey Cruz presented on evaluating the impact of novel products to the dairy market on fluid milk utilization. And again, she presented that at that national meeting and did win second place. Um, and then a huge win for us was Ms. Kenna Hillis um, presented on some research work that she and Hyde did together on evaluating the use of pulse oximetry, lactate levels, and lung ultrasounds on predicting respiratory illness in dairy calves. And Kenna did win um, first place in the undergraduate research competition. So that was a big kudos for Kenna. Um, in addition to that, um, those accolades, uh, we did have Alyssa Routon elected as the national president of the American Dairy Science Association Student Affiliate Division. Um, what a tremendous opportunity this was. Uh, the last time UGA had a president for this, um, for the ADSA student affiliate group was back in the early 1970s. Um, so definitely a huge accomplishment for Alyssa and something that the university should certainly be proud of. If we look at some additional collegiate activities, that North American Intercollegiate Dairy Challenge. So this is an event where um, students typically would go on farm and evaluate that farm and then create a presentation on strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Again, because of the um, novelty of this year and the, the issues presented by the pandemic, both of these contests were held in a virtual format. Um, which certainly represented a challenge for our students because now they were watching videos of procedures on farm, videos of um, uh, freestall barns, uh, getting data on wind speed versus actually walking through the barn and feeling that. So um, definitely presented a series of challenges, um, but we did have a great group of students that also competed in this event. So at that regional level, um, uh, in 2020, uh, so in fall of 2020, uh, we had a team of five students compete um, and they did win first place um, for the regional competition. So certainly proud of them and their efforts put to the, uh, forward to that competition. Um, and again, in that very challenging time of doing it in the virtual realm. We just recently completed the national contest. Um, again, it was in uh, the virtual realm. 
Um, but that uh, national contest, the host farm was in Wisconsin. Um, so our students actually spent, they got the data released one night and then they had two days to go through the data, create a presentation, um, and then present that presentation to a panel of experts um, via Zoom. Um, it was a whirlwind, um, and you can see um, some of their work up there on the board as they sifted through data, um, both computer records as well as video records and video um, archives of what that farm actually did procedurally. So um, super proud of this um, team. They only announced the top two winners, and, and we weren't announced in that group, but that doesn't take anything away from um, the efforts this team put in as well as the professionalism that they exhibited while at the virtual contest. Um, so while um, it's certainly been a challenging year, I hope you can appreciate that those uh, collegiate students involved in the dairy programming area of the University of Georgia have been highly active um, and engaged in a wide variety of activities and activities that not only benefit themselves in their own professional development, um, but that it also uh, served um, some some younger people within the state um, and hopefully recruiting uh, those younger members not only into agriculture but potentially into the dairy industry. Um, so again, I'm, I'm Jillian Boland. Just wanted to take the opportunity to share with you some of the things that um, students here in the Animal and Dairy Science uh, Department have been doing in the area of dairy programming. <music>
Jones' daughters just pulled up in a Jeep. Man, he knows how to grow them if you know what I mean. Old Dave's getting loud, but he don't mean no harm. We're just country boys and girls getting down on the farm. Get down, y'all. 